Welcome to an introduction to accounting, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. For more information on Parkbench Tutors, look us up at parkbenchtutors.com or you can find us on Facebook. We're going to continue looking at costing and complete our work on variances by looking at what happens when you have standard costing and fixed overhead variance. Variance analysis, remember, is the comparison of actual costs to standard costs, and those differences are what we call the variances. And in managerial accounting, we're trying to look at what caused the variances, so we have to identify the variance first, look for its cause, and see if there's any corrective action that can be taken. Our example is Dream Designs producing polar coats. And we need to note here from the details for production that the fixed production cost, the fixed overhead, is expected to be £30,000 for 3,000 coats. So here we are then, the budgeted costs for our 3,000 coats, £30,000. And now let's look at the actual costs for the period. The actual fixed production overhead was 34000 so obviously there is a difference. And we need to be aware of two things before we try and account for that difference. First of all, the labour, there were 13,000 paid hours, but there were only 11,500 worked hours. And secondly, the actual production was 3,600 coats, not 3,000. So our budget then was dependent on producing 3,000 coats at 4 hours per coat, giving us a fixed overhead budget of 30,000. With those details, we can see how to set a fixed overhead absorption rate per hour. We divide the budgeted cost by the budgeted hours. Well, the budgeted cost is the fixed overhead cost for the period, and the hours are the hours per coat times the number of coats. So that's 30,000 divided by 4 times 3,000, which is 30,000 over 12,000, which gives £2.50 per hour. That then is our absorption rate, £2.50 per hour. But remember, it takes four hours to produce each coat. So, four times 2.5 means our absorption per unit, our absorption per coat, is £10. Now, at the end of any period, the actual fixed costs can be under or overabsorbed, and that's what gives rise to our variance. So, let's take the actual figures for the period again. We have 13,000 paid hours, 11,500 worked hours. We have a fixed overhead of 34,000, that was the actual cost, and production of 3,600 coats. So, our fixed overhead, the total cost variance. If we work out the absorption that we would expect for 3,600 coats, we're multiplying 3,600 times 4 times 2.5, or 3,600 times 10, which is the absorption rate per unit. That gives us a figure of 36,000. The actual cost was 34,000, so the variance is actually 2,000, which is favourable. It's favourable because the actual is less than the standard. This total variance is made up of two parts, the fixed overhead expenditure variance and the fixed overhead volume variance. Let's take the expenditure variance first. The actual cost for 3,600 coats was 34,000, whereas the budgeted cost, which was for 3,000 coats, was 30,000. That gives an expenditure variance of 4,000, which is adverse. It's adverse because the actual is less than the budget. Sorry, the actual is greater than the budget. Apologies. Now it looks at the fixed overhead volume variance. The actual absorption, 3,600 multiplied by 10, would be 36,000. The budget absorption of 30,000. So the volume variance there is 6,000. So the budget there is less than the actual. So we've absorbed more than expected, so that's favourable. Volume variance itself can be subdivided and it will be made up of capacity variance and efficiency variance. So let's look at the capacity variance, meaning we're looking at the number of hours here as well. So we had 12,000 hours at standard rate, which is what you'd expect for 3,000 coats, so gives us a figure of 30,000. But we actually only worked 11,500, which would give a figure of 28,750. 
So the capacity variance of 500 hours is adverse and it is 1250 pounds. The efficiency variance, well the actual hours were 11,500 but the standard hours would have been 14,400. So the actual hours at a standard rate would have come to 28,750 but the absorption for standard hours at standard rate comes to 36,000 giving us an efficiency variance of 7,250 which is favourable in this case because actual is less than standard. I re can reconcile this. I have budget hours at actual cost 34,000 with an adverse expenditure variance, adverse capacity variance but a favourable efficiency variance and the standard hours is then 36,000. Remember standard costs less any favourable cost plus any adverse cost equals the actual cost. And that this variance refers to standard costing, right? The volume variance is here because we're trying to absorb the fixed cost into production. If we were to use marginal costing then we would not have this need to absorb fixed costs so a volume variance would not arise. That ends our podcast on fixed overheads and variances brought to you by Park Bench Tutors. Thank you for watching and listening. We wish you success in your studies. If you want more information about Park Bench Tutors, look us up on Facebook or you can sign up at parkbenchtutors.com for access to a playlist and any other resources that we produce. Thank you.